You see, as a child, I grew up in a place called Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville is a university town, almost an ideal city where my father was a professor of economics. And most of the people in that city had uh, PhDs. They were teaching in the university. Uh, we children all grew up with books around us, with music, with artists, and a kind of intellectual community. It was almost like a utopian city, and in fact. So I think I had a very ideal youth, actually. And I think it was very inspiring in the sense that I actually thought the whole world was like that. But of course it wasn't. Uh, there were things which bothered me as a young person as I grew up. I noticed after some time that we all lived in houses that looked different. One might be ranch style, one might be uh, colonial style, one may be Spanish colonial. Uh, but actually the plans were all the same and the elevations were just pasted on the front. So it seemed to be a homogeneous neighborhood and we were all living the American dream, but actually uh, it was rather in bad taste. So I think this is something that sort of inspired me to become an architect. Now, when I was about, I don't know, 14, 15 years old, I received a book as a gift. It was called The Natural House by Frank Lloyd Wright. And it wasn't the pictures in that book, but it was the philosophy in that book, which I think affected me and uh, turned me to become an architect. In fact, I had never read a book cover to cover by then. I was a very naughty and bad student. I'm Christopher Charles Benninger. I'm an architect and I'm also an urban planner.